welcome to the digital job site. This tutorial is going to go into this Tuscan order that you see here in the schematic. And the recent interest in this, the principles that are involved with this Tuscan order for proportioning millwork, dimensions, and heights, uh, that prompted me to put SketchUp to work to help calculate all the various dimensions and proportions that are involved in this type of design arrangement. By zooming in on this drawing, which is just a 2D drawing, it shows how various sections of this Tuscan order, uh, the base, the shaft, the capital, etc., are all based on, on D, which is the diameter of the column. And that column diameter is uh, the base of the column and all these other things are proportional to that base dimension. But most residential millwork these days doesn't involve columns. Uh, it involves a wall or a ceiling height, which would be the total height of this assembly. And since this is based on the diameter of the column, which we don't have, uh, we can take the ceiling height and then reverse engineer to come up with the column diameter. And that's what I used SketchUp to do. And if we bring this default tray up here, um, the way I went about this was to create something I just called scale bars. And what the scale bars are, are nothing more than a digital model, a SketchUp model of these various divisions and segments here. Uh, the base, the shaft, the capital, the architrave, the frieze, cornice, and so on. And by lowering all these various dimensions to the lowest common denominator, which is uh, a, a fourth, I divided this up or added it up and came up with 35 equal divisions over the height of this assembly. And so I started out just basing this on an eight foot tall wall, which is pretty common uh, to build these scale bars. And then if you're familiar with the divide tool or the divide feature of SketchUp, I'll show how this works. I'm just going to draw a line up here, 96 inches. And then by right clicking on this line and then hitting the right mouse button, I can choose divide. And as you can see here, as I slide the mouse down, the number of segments changes and I want to get 35 of those segments. Like I said, there's 35 fourths involved. So if I don't get lucky and land on 35, I can just type 35, enter, and it'll divide that line in 35 equal pieces. And you can see if I take two of those pieces, one, two, move and copy, they equal the height of this base, which is one half of D or two fourths of D. By taking four of them, I came up with the dimension D, which would be the bi diameter of the column. So that's how I built these scale bars to basically digitize this 2D drawing and make it adaptable for different wall heights, because that's the most likely variable in residential construction. So once these scale bars were created, they have all the necessary dimensions for modeling. With the scale bars made, I can proceed to model the various features shown in this Tuscan order, the, the base, the column, etc. And uh, I got a little carried away making this look like stone from some ancient structure of some sort. But um, if this was painted millwork, it would be the same. If I move one of these columns, and my shadows are slowing everything down here, so we're going to shut that off. And now you can see how the model relates to these various height dimensions, all based on the diameter of the column and, and spaced out. And that's kind of straightforward SketchUp modeling to do that. So this assembly here is all proportional for an 8-foot ceiling height. So if I was going to do crown molding on an 8-foot wall, this cornice section would be what I'd be working with. And 
that gives me a dimension based on an eight foot wall. That's eight and 11 30 seconds, about eight and a quarter inches. The purpose of all this is not to just come up with the, the dimensions for an eight foot wall, but to come up with a system for any wall height to be able to quickly determine the dimensions for these various sections, uh, the base height and the crown molding height and etc. So I'm going to do a little bit of modeling work here to reconfigure these scale bars and then I'll pick up the video again. All right, so what I did during the break there was to add dimensions to these groups and I added the dimensions outside of the groups so that when we scale these the dimensions will change along with it. And to demonstrate how simple this all is to work, um, all these dimensions, you can see how fine-tuned they are, are corresponding to these proportions shown in the, the drawing, and they all relate to a, a 96 inch or an 8 foot tall wall. So if we want to have a wall that is, let's say, 10 foot 6 tall, I'm just going to draw a line over here. I'm going to go up here 10 foot 6 or 126 inches, 1, 2, 6, enter. And now we have a line that represents that wall. So I'm going to see if I can get a dimension stuck on there. So there's 126 inches. So what I need to do is just grab everything over here and hit move control and then just slide a copy of this over. Let's slide it over 60 inches so we can work with it. And now we have these two groups. I'm going to leave the dimensions alone, select these two groups, and then grab the scale tool. By grabbing this middle scale point and then pulling it up to index on the top of this line, you can see how everything in all these proportions have changed in an instant to represent all the correct proportions for a wall height of 126 inches. You can see if we zoom in, uh, D has changed from 10 and 31 30 seconds up to 14 and 13 30 seconds. So the, the base of the column would be proportionally bigger. And I stacked these horizontal dimensions vertically like this so that they would scale at the same rate as everything else. So with those steps, I hope this makes sense on how SketchUp can be used to do all the math for this. I'm sure it could be done with a spreadsheet or something to generate these numbers based on the proportions outlined in a drawing, but this is a pretty straightforward way to get those things done. And once the dimensions are rescaled, then it's a matter of rescaling the components to match these dimensions and the all these proportions can be changed accordingly. So that you can make a structure like this, you can go to any size by doing the math and going through those steps, which is a whole lot easier than busting out a calculator and doing this the longhand way. So I hope that was informative and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.